My name is Jaden Arnell and this is KCTV. And today, we are going to be talking about hot air balloons. Is everybody ready? Lights? Camera? Action! This is KCTV, broadcasting to you from Columbus, Indiana. Are you ready to learn all the secrets of the universe? Or are you just watching to pass the time? Either way, buckle in, because we have the show for you. So obviously, I do not have a hot air balloon but I wanted to get as high up in the air as I possibly could for this video. So I picked the tallest thing that I could find here in Columbus, and I think it's this thing right here, the Mill Race Tower. All right, so because we're going so high up, I imagine that it's gonna be a little bit cold up there, so I, I need to put on some cold weather gear and everything here. So I got my nice winter hat, so of course put the KCTV hat right over that, and uh, warm super warm flannel right here so this will hopefully keep us warm while we're going up into the tower we're good to go oh man guys i'm i'm so excited to get up to the top of this tower it's literally one of my favorite places here in columbus i mean you just can't experience the open air like that anywhere else except for here at the It's closed. Hi, and welcome to the Kids Commons Research Lab. So I heard today that we are learning about hot air balloons, but what about cold air balloons? You never hear about those cold air balloons flying around. Well, today I'm going to do some experiments to make my very own cold air balloon instead of a hot air balloon. So I have some baking soda and vinegar, and when these two mix, it creates a reaction called an endothermic reaction. An endothermic reaction is a reaction that actually takes in heat, so the vinegar will warm up and get hot, pretty hot, <laughs> while the gas coming out of it, so the CO2, being produced by the reaction will be cold air. All right, so the first step in making your very own cold air balloon is to put some of this baking soda inside of your balloon. Now that your balloon is full of baking soda, go ahead and just attach the balloon onto your bottle and try not to spill any of the baking soda into the bottle, otherwise the reaction will start a little bit early. All right, I hope everyone is ready for my cold air balloon. Once this puppy fills up, I'll be flying away. So now all you need to do is dump in the baking soda into your vinegar bottle here, and the bottle should just float right away. And hello, cold air balloons. Goodbye, hot air balloons. I don't think this is gonna fly anywhere. Um, maybe cold air balloons wasn't the best idea I've had. Um, let's go figure out why this didn't work. Now the reason hot air balloons work and cold air balloons don't is because of this reason right here. The giant flame inside of the hot air balloon is the reason it will fly up. So let's say this is our hot air balloon. As the fire underneath the balloon is lit, the fire creates hot air that fills the balloon. So as more hot air goes up inside of our balloon here, it will start to slowly rise up. So if we were to fill that same balloon up with cold air, it would just stay put. And that's because cold air is a lot heavier than hot air. Hello and welcome to Awfully Awesome Art, where I do art and it turns out, Awesome.
I swear my drawings are getting better, don't you think? Now, as you know, I do art, but I bet you didn't know that I also do poetry. So I'd like to start today off with a little poem that I wrote. I spy with my little eye something floating in the sky. It's purple, green, and yellow too, soaring among the sky so blue. Which brings me to today's theme, which you might have guessed from my amazing poem, Hot Air Balloons. Now, whoever invented hot air balloons, in my opinion, had to be just a little bit cuckoo. Let's think about this for a second. So you have this basket and it's floating thousands of feet up in the air. And the only thing holding that basket up in the air is some rope and a giant flame and a big piece of fabric. That's insane. But would I ride in one? Absolutely. So for today's craft, we are going to be making a nifty little neat 3D hot air balloon. So for this craft, you will need colored pencils or any other sort of coloring utensils, a piece of paper to be your scenery, and you will also need some cutouts of a hot air balloon shape, which you can use a template for or you can draw on your own. You just want to make sure that they're all the same size. And then lastly, you'll need some tape or some glue. So let's go ahead and make our 3D hot air balloons. have my hot air balloon. I added a few finishing touches like these birds, a sunshine, and me in the hot air balloon. That's probably as close as I'll ever get to riding in one. Wait a minute. Oh, no. I forgot a nose. I'm noseless. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hang this on my awfully awesome art wall. Give myself a little nose. Voila! Here we have a beautiful scenery of my hot air balloon. Thank you so much for joining me for Awfully Awesome Art. Now let's float on back to Jaden. Hey, sorry, I don't have time for any facts today. I'm going up to my hot air balloon. Did you know that animals were some of the first to actually ride up in a hot air balloon? Crazy, right? They were over top of Louis the 16th and Marie Antoinette. He suggested that they send criminals up in the hot air balloon instead of people because he didn't want any casualties. But Ruzier, he ended up going up first instead of the criminals. Um, and then he went up in the hot air balloon and he made it for a full 30 minutes until he ended up being the first crash test dummy because he blew up and died after 30 minutes. Yeah, hopefully I have better success than he did. And I'll see you later. Bye.
I wanted to fly way into the sky. I had this dream since I was a wee little guy. I tried so many things, but nothing quite fit. But a hot air balloon, oh yeah, that's it. We're going up, up, up in a hot air balloon. When will we come down? I hope sometime soon we're going up. In a hot air balloon When will we come down? I hope sometime soon Now I couldn't buy my own Cause balloons ain't cheap I shopped the deals online But the prices were too steep So I got my tools together And I made some great plans And I built my balloon With my own two hands Now I'm a pretty smart guy But my math isn't the best so I chucked the algorithms and I put it to the test. I flew up and to the left and I landed in a tree. And I've been stuck up here for about two or three weeks. We're going up, up, up in a hot air balloon. When will we come down? I hope sometime soon. We're going up, up, up in a hot air balloon. When will we come down? I hope sometime soon. We're going up, up, up. In a hot air balloon When will we come down? I hope sometime soon We're going up, up, up In a hot air balloon When will I come down? I hope sometime soon Well, that's it for us here at KCTV. Thank you so much for joining us for this episode. Uh, we hope to see you again next time, but until then, keep on going up, up, up. <laughs>